Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Cecilowati. I'm an Excel and Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience in reporting, planning, and analysis. Today, I'd like to share something that I recently learned creating an Excel file with picture lookup that we can produce an image that can change dynamically when selection criteria is changed. Something that looks like this. An Excel file doesn't have to be boring, it can contain pictures, and the pictures can be set to change dynamically as the input changes, like this. Isn't that exciting? And we can do all of this with lookup formulas, and I will show you how to do that later. In this video, I will walk you through the steps required to create the file. Let's get started. Here are the four secrets to creating picture lookup in Excel, which I will cover more thoroughly in the rest of this video. It involves structuring the data correctly, setting up names, creating X lookup formulas in the correct location, and linking the picture lookup to our picture as the last step. To get started with picture lookup, we need to make sure that our data is arranged properly. And if you get given information like this, your first step would be to arrange everything in one column uh, in a table format. So the pictures need to be in one column, the room name need to be in one column, and then the cost and completion date should also be in a column. I have created an additional column in here for the drop down list, which will have a list of room names but I don't want anything for the column heading. I'm going to leave it blank so that later on in my drop down box, I will not have an option to choose the column heading name. So those are all the important information that I need. And now we can start by naming the columns. Um, I'm going to name this first column pictures. Yeah. So I'm creating name range in here. I'm going to name that rooms. And then I'm going to name this class. You're right, I'm going to name this completion. And then the last one, I'm going to call this room name. Okay, next is to go to the lookup page in here, and I'm going to create a drop down box so that there is a list of room names that can pop up in here. And to do that, go to data, validation, uh, click list in the allow box and then for source just go to the room names which was that now because we created the name earlier in in there when you select that in the data validation you can see uh, the name references popping up yeah just press enter and then click ok now we have our drop down box nice okay next I want to use that information to look for cost and completion date and then later on my picture over there. So before we get started, let's just name this cell input. And then now we can use XLOOKUP to look for our input, which is the, the lounge room and from our data set, the room column. And we want to look for the cost in the return array, and that's it. And then for completion date, we're going to look for lunch. And in the lookup array, which is the room, and to give us completion date. And we are done. And then next is the picture lookup. Now with the picture lookup, yeah. The trick is not to write the formula in a cell like that uh, because if you do that, it just won't work. So we can try this. X lookup, lounge, rooms, and picture column. Yeah, and we we're just going to get zero because for picture lookup we need to write the formula in a special place and link it to a picture. So what you need to do is copy this formula, press escape, so that you can go to formula, name manager, and then create a new name, call it picture x lookup, 
then paste the formula from earlier in the refer to it. So what I'm pasting is exactly the same X lookup that I typed earlier. And then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to close. And I will delete this because that's a bit useless. So let's go back to name manager one more time. So in the name manager now you can see a list of names that we have created. That's the picture X lookup that we last created. And the rest were the column names and the input cells that we previously created. Yeah. So now so let's get the picture. Control C, Control V. Yeah. And then just go to the formula and type equal picture X lookup. That's the name that we um, created earlier. And now we can change this and the picture changed dynamically. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So now we have cost changing, completion date changing, and picture changing as well. Yeah. So remember, um, so the trick is when you're doing picture lookup, don't write the formula in a cell, but write your X lookup formula as a name reference. Yeah. Name reference means you go to uh, formula, name manager, create a name first. And in this case, we created picture X lookup earlier. And we need to write the X lookup in there. Now, um, what I found as well is when writing X lookup inside a name manager, it is better to use name references, which is why I'm, I have created input rooms and pictures rather than using a cell that says, you know, lookup D3. Uh, from which is a meeting room if you if you see that because what i found is sometimes excel just change that d3 reference in into something else randomly and it made the picture look up sometimes working sometimes not working therefore my biggest tips for consistency of picture lookup is for us to use name references where possible okay so i hope you find this tip useful congratulations you have now reached the end of the video and you now know the secrets to creating Excel picture lookup so that your picture can change dynamically for a given selection criteria. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons so that you don't miss out on future tips that I'll be sharing on YouTube every Thursday. See you next time.